Hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Fruitip and welcome back to Dead Island. In the previous part, we collected two juice packs and now we're back here at the lifeguard tower. I'm going to place them down and hopefully complete this mission. And then, I'm, and uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, we have some um, leveling up to do as well. But I'm just gonna go and grab the second juice pack here. And I wouldn't mind taking a juice pack now. I mean, it's really hot. We're on a tropical island. Must be really, really hot. But there we go. Talk to Cinnamoy. Alrighty. And we have skill points to spend. Just gonna go ahead and talk to Cinnamoy before I do that. Hello, buddy. Thanks, mate. I was losing hope. It's just what I was hoping for. Awesome. Gonna go ahead and grab the cash as well. And um, before I spend my skill points, I'm just gonna go down here, repair some of the weapons I have. So let's see now. Gonna go ahead and repair all of them. Let's see now. I think I'm gonna keep the baseball bats. Actually gonna go ahead and upgrade it, I think. If I have the money for it. Hey, we uh I don't have enough, but it's alright, it's alright. I think I'm gonna keep this because we can um reach from a far distance, and that could be a good thing to do, I guess. Let's take a look on our quest. Here, knocking on Heaven's door. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I feel like heading to the um, the lighthouse, but first, I'm gonna spend some skill points. So should I go for increased bleeding duration? Should I go for in uh, increased critical hit chance with sharp weapons? Increase poison duration? Increase maximum health when fewer is active? Killing enemies with sharp weapons generates additional rage. Cool. Fury makes you move faster. Or medkits are 25% more effective. Not really sure which one I should go for. Gonna go for this one. Alrighty, so let's head for the um, lighthouse. Hopefully we can help out the people over there. And as always, I'm jumping in on the wrong side, but luckily we don't have to exit the car in order to get to the um, driver's seat. Did I activate this quest? Let's see. Yeah, I did. And I think I know my way around this. Island. Well, not the entire island, of course, but this particular part of it, since we've been going back and forth um, for a lot of times now. <laughs> so, let's see. Now, I believe we can take a shortcut through this little part. Yes, we can. And our front window breaks so, so easy, really. But uh, luckily, we don't have to drive with it all blurry. Our characters is just knocking it down, which is helping out a lot to see. So, let's see now. If we can talk to some people, help them out. Maybe get some good things out of them for doing that. Can you if you could bring me back some food, I'd really appreciate it. Anything. Find me some food and I'll give you whatever I have. Sounds pretty good. Uh, get two food cans for Ned. Difficulty very easy. Reward 100 experience points in cash. I'll try. Go. Hurry. See what you can find. Wind in the stomach. Get two cans of food. Maybe I already have that. Let's see here. 
Gonna go through canned food. I need one more. Maybe we can find it down here somewhere. We do not get any indication on the uh, minimap or our radar. So I guess we'll just have to loot this place and hope for the best. Whoa! I heard you, buddy. Shablam, that's what I'm talking about. We have another zombie here, so let's go ahead and take him out. <laughs> ah, we're doing some serious damage now that we have leveled up a bit, spent some skill points. Eh, oh, come on. There we go. That one is really brutal. Just a lot of cash. Really? I guess we could save this quest for later and once we find another can of food we can just return and give it to him. Just gonna see if there's any more bags to loot. What do we have here? I think we're just gonna find more money in it. So I'm gonna go back up to the lighthouse, see if I can talk to someone else, get a new quest, and as I said, once we find Another can of food. I'm gonna return to this man. Ned is his name. And give him the food I have. I can't get through. I was in contact with the pilots of that plane that went down. It was full of passengers, and they said they were making an emergency landing near the edge of the jungle. I lost contact with them after that, but if they landed that plane safely, maybe we can use it to get the hell off this island. Who knows? Look near the jungle for the location of the aircraft. Difficulty hard. Reward 3,500 experience points and a military machete. Of course. Hey, that plane might be our ticket out of here. Nighthawk. Let's go ahead and activate that one. And I'm curious to know why nothing is popping out on our radar. Talk to this man as well. Her name's Linda. She got beat up pretty bad out there. I don't even know how she managed to make it here. Probably made it on sheer adrenaline. She needs painkillers and bandages. Can you see if you can find some? Find a bottle, bottle of painkillers and three bandages for Linda, Chic infirmaries and ambulances. Difficulty medium, reward 500 experience points and a Dio bomb blueprint. Okay. Thank you. There's a racked ambulance on the road to the bungalows and medical supplies in the lifeguard tower. I'm pretty sure you can find painkillers and bandages out of place. Maybe there's a rescue car on the beach. Try to worry, okay? She's really suffering. All right, I'm gonna check my inventory here. I think we have it all. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you. You just saved this girl's life. No problem at all, dude. Talk to James. Born to be wild. Talk to Cinnamoy. Why should I do that? Gonna go up here and talk to... Um, what it seems like the man in charge. I saw what you did for us. And I won't forget it. Hmm. A lot of cash. The lighthouse is back online. But we need to cover all our bases. A few of us started arranging a huge help sign out in the clearing nearby. When we were chased off by those fucking things. Now, everyone's too scared to go back out there. But if you could finish the sign for us, I'll make it worth your while. What do you say? 
That sounds like a mission to take on upon us. Finish the help sign out in the clearing. Difficulty hard, reward, 700 experience points and a torch mod. I'll try. Alright, good. But uh, do me a favor. Be careful out there. I'll try. Unlike uh, Cinemoy and his crew, we're not content to sit in our butts and hope that the uh, help's on its way. We're more proactive, you know? Farther up the coast, there's a couple shipwrecks. The result of that monsoon that came through. I'm thinking they might have supplies, including signal flares. When help finally does get here, like maybe the military, we need a way to let them know where we are. You interested in a little salvage work? Get four flares from the wrecks on the coast. Difficulty hard and reward 500 experience points and a nail hammer. I'll do my best. Good. And when the help finally does get here and we get their attention, I guarantee a first spot on the chopper. Hmm. We'll see about that. I don't think I have any flares. Gonna head down from here, and as I said, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, all of a sudden, wait a second, I wanna do this one, I wanna help out to um, get the help sign done, Where the hell did they put I think that's the one I activated, that oh yes, so that is the mission we're going to do here, hopefully it's not too hard. I know the difficulty said it was going to be hard, but you never know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There we have a big one. And we need to get some crates here. Yeah, buddy, I can hear ya. You're probably hungry, but I'm not gonna stop for a snack. You'll have to catch me first. But I wonder if his scream is like, um, I don't know, getting other zombies to um, alert and uh, get to this place. I'm just glad this guy isn't the best at movement. Okay, here comes another one. Whoa, stay down, buddy. There we go. Stay down. I'm just gonna go for the crates. I don't wanna fight you all. Let's be friends. <laughs> Whoa! I think he's alerting the other zombies. By the way, I'm gonna check one thing here. When the target is... Ah. Oh. Alright, I need to hold down the B button, not just press it. Alright, now I know that. Let's go for one more crate. And I'm starting to seriously think that his screams is alerting other zombies. But maybe not. Maybe this is just part of the mission. <laughs> That's one nice throw right there. Talk to James. I mean, the zombies could easily get up here, for sure, they just need to climb the rocks and then they are up and into the lighthouse, which is pretty scary. It's done? <laughs> Excellent. 
Uh, look, you're more than welcome to stay here and wait for help with us if you want. Uh, and here's your reward. You earned it. So it feels like we're about to get a bit settled down here by the lighthouse. I don't mind. Feels feels like a fun thing. I mean, we're making progress. We're meeting some new people, getting some new missions and quests and whatnot. Deserted here. Let's open this up. Concerned that my informant has been exposed. I hope he's all right. The door appears. So, just gonna go ahead and repair my items before I turn off this video. To be a jar. I'll listen to the tape as well. Mr. Anomo? Hello? Anyone here? No one is here. Jesus. Oh my god. There's, uh, there's blood everywhere. I don't see a body though. Mr. Anomo? What the hell? Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Oh my God! Whoever that was, I think I just killed her. Bashed her head in with a fucking lamp. She was out of her mind. She tried to bite me, for Christ's sake. She must have been 70 years old. Someone else is back there. I gotta... I gotta get out of here. So, it sounded like the man on the tape was getting attacked by zombies. Pretty scary. Imagine if you were about to be alone, trying to survive, you have a lot of zombies out there trying to eat your brain. That's some scary things. But yeah guys, this will be it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a lovely day, and I will smell you later.